What's up dudes and dudes to the air and up. my name's Scythe and today I'm going to be showing you how to convert a zip mod into a tmod file and then upload that to the Steam Workshop. Before we get started, I'd like to give a shout out to X Hawaiian Nestorio and Kitty Bow Jangles. Without their help, I wouldn't have been able to figure this out. First of all, you're going to have to have TroveTools.net. Links will be in the description for this program, as well as a couple other videos showing you how to create mods, as well as how to use this program. Needless to say, you're going to have to add the zip file manually or just download your mod uh, from the Trove Source website through the interface here. So let's go to my Overwatch Pack version 3. Simply install the mod and then right click and convert to Tmod. Once you're in this section, you're going to see that all of the different files that are a part of your mod, depending on how big it is, are going to be added to the selection panel here. Now before you can continue, you're going to have to title it, add a preview image or a thumbnail, which can easily be a PNG, but it has to be 400 by 230. And as you can see, this is the one that I'm using right now. You can also use JPEG. Type in the author, which is going to be your username and personal notes. Don't worry, you can always edit the notes afterwards, so it doesn't really matter what you type. Once you've got all of that set up, you simply go to the bottom right corner and click build Tmod. And as you can see, I already just recently ended up doing this. Now we get to the fun part. Assuming things worked correctly, the tmod file should automatically have been extracted into your Steam folder. However, if you have the Glyph version of Trove, it may have extracted into the Glyph Trove live folder. The Steam folder for Trove should just be in Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Trove, Games, Trove, Live, and then the Mods folder is where you're going to be grabbing these. And for Glyph, it's just Glyph, Games, Trove, Live, Mods. Now that we've got the mod in the folder, you're going to have to relaunch Trove. In game, press escape and go to the mod section and you should see your mod right here. Whether it's enabled or disabled honestly doesn't matter from this point. Now, in order to get your mod to upload to the Steam Workshop, you're going to have to type in game slash workshop upload title and then in this little section right here you're going to have to put the title of your mod scroll over a little bit and you're going to have to put the author which is your username right here in between the quotations and get rid of all the other garbles and then finally at the end changes which is just this little description right here and again we're going to be able to change that once you press enter, it should start spamming the right side of your screen with Trove is uploading this mod to Steam Workshop. And there you go. This page should show up next, showing you that your mod has been successfully uploaded. And you can always edit the title and description, add slash edit any images or add any videos and stuff like that. And let's not forget the most important, change visibility because right now this is going to be hidden to everybody outside of other creators and stuff like that but once you go to change visibility you can set it to public and there you go and in order for people to use your mod it's as simple as clicking on browse the workshop finding the mod clicking on it and clicking subscribe once you click subscribe the mod should be available for you in game and you're going to be able to confirm this by going to the mods menu again and seeing that the mod is here thanks for watching folks and i hope this covered everything that you need to know about converting mods from a zip to a tmod file and then uploading them to steam workshop personally speaking i still use my old method of creating mods and creating them in a zip file and everything like that and then just converting them over rather than learning the new method of creating a tmod file from scratch and i know that a lot of older mod creators are going to stick with this method because it's what we're comfortable with if you found this video helpful be sure to leave a like leave any questions you have in the comment section down below and have yourself a fantastic day good luck and happy modding sayonara and stay epic everybody